In this video, you're going to learn how to create a list of video ideas by doing keyword research on YouTube. Now, this process is really going to help you grow your channel extremely fast because you'll be able to tap in and create videos about those keywords that people are searching for and also where there's not a lot of other videos made about them. So I'm going to walk you through this, uh, how to do this process with a couple of examples. And then later on, I'm going to show you a couple of tools to use that can really give you more data. But I think it is important for you to understand the basic concept and theory first, because I've seen a lot of people get lost in tools and they miss the fundamentals. So let's get started with the fundamentals. What you want to do is come into YouTube and type in maybe your product name, your service name, or the topic that you want to create videos around. So let's just imagine that I am creating a, or that I want to make a videos about beard oil because I have an e-commerce shop that says beard oil. So I just type in beard oil here. Now what we can see here are all of the videos that relate to that particular topic, that keyword or that phrase. And I can see all of the videos here. Now where we want to be is really at the top here. So what we have to decide is really how competitive is it for us to really create a video and get to the top of the rankings here. Well, one way that we can determine the competitiveness is to look at the number of search results. So I can see for this keyword phrase, what's a potential customer might be typing into YouTube. There are 271,000 results. So already it looks pretty competitive. But the real test and what I would really encourage you to focus on is to look at the titles of the video. Do they contain the exact phrase that you have typed in to the YouTube search bar here? And if I scan down through these results, I can see beard oil, beard oil, beard oil, beard oil, beard oil. OK, so a lot of the videos here and even continuing to scroll down past the top 10. There are a lot of videos that specifically include this keyword or keyword phrase. So straight away, I know that that's probably going to be too competitive. If I'm a new channel and I've no audience, it's going to be hard for me to rank at the top of the search results here. So what do we do? Well, we need to get more specific and create a video around a phrase or something that people are searching for that is more specific. And the way to find that out is really at the end of the phrase or keyword that you've typed in, just hit the space bar. And now what YouTube is suggesting to us are related searches that are more specific, but that still get search volume. Now they wouldn't be suggesting these unless a lot of people actually search for them. Because remember that YouTube is a search engine. It wants us to help. It wants to help us find what we're looking for as quickly as possible. And that's why they suggest these other things. So what we want to do is really click into some of these. And again, we can look at the number of results, but really the real test of, of how hard it's going to be to rank at the top here of these for this search term is look at the titles of the videos. Are there a lot of videos that contain this exact phrase? So beard oil before and after it doesn't appear really anywhere here. So I'm going to note this down in my spreadsheet. That looks like a good uh, video that I could make. Again, this would be ideal for a product because I could just show the beard oil growth, say before and after, or even how it looks like damaged before and really good after. And that would help highlight the benefits of my product. Let's go back and just uh, have a look at another one. So beard oil review, beard oil recipe. Now, I probably wouldn't make want to make a video about a recipe because if I have a product, that product really solves it. I also wouldn't want to maybe make a video on homemade things because if they can make it at home, why would they buy the product? So let's have a look at some of these for short beards. OK, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, a beard oil specifically for short beards. And again, looking down through the titles here, I don't see anybody who has a video on that. So again, we're just getting ideas for now. We're going to look at these tools to really assess the search volume and prioritize them in terms of our videos. 
So let's just have, go back and have a look for growth. Okay. That's interesting because people want to buy, say a product of oil that will help them grow a beard faster. And if you have a product that can do that, um, well, obviously that's going to sell pretty well and that's going to help distinguish you from the competition or the, the standard beard oil. So noted that down. Let's have a look if we can find something else. Homemade balm or wax, okay. And actually, just to show you there, growth, okay, beard growth oils, beard growth oils. And if I look down through, even the fifth result, there's no even mention of oil here. Sixth result, they don't even have any of those terms. So I know that this is gonna be easy to rank for because there's no videos that really have this exact phrase in the title and that's why I've noted it down. I looked at this before, that's why I'm kind of um, jumping ahead there a little bit. Let's go back though, okay, so maybe I have an e-commerce store. I don't only sell beard oil, I might sell something like a beer, a beard comb. So once again, let's have a look. Beard comb, shaper. Beard comb shaper, okay, so don't see any videos on that. Let's have a look at some other stuff here. So you can see this is a pretty cool process. It really does help you to find out what people are searching for. So let's say review, use, ASMR, trimmer, pickups. It's pretty bizarre. You might learn a lot about your potential customers by just looking at the searches. So let's have a look, beard comb. Shaper versus brush. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Let's have a look. Versus brush, versus brush. There's three videos there. Beer brush versus comb. Okay, so still, I think that's something I could potentially make a video about. So really what I've got here now so far is a list of keywords that I know are being searched for because they're being suggested to me by Google. And I know they're not that competitive in terms of looking at the videos that are there. There aren't videos or there's not a lot of videos that specifically contain that phrase in the search, that search phrase in the title. Now what we want to know is actually how many monthly searches do these search terms get? Because we do really want to prioritize these and make the video that gets the most amount of searches but has the least amount of competing videos. So there are a couple of tools that you can use. One that you will probably have seen recommended in tutorials or trainings is the Google Keyword Planner tool. Now this is a keyword research tool. It's available within AdWords, but there are some restrictions about this and I do wanna point it out that you will probably need to put a credit card on, set up an account, maybe even create a campaign. You can cancel that campaign, but you probably will have to put a credit card to get access to the tool. And you can see that unless you're spending money, they'll actually restrict the data. Um, and so it's it used to be a great tool, but not really anymore since they've started to restrict this data. It is still good to come in here, and if you can set it up, uh, you can get some other ideas here. But there is a tool that I would suggest that is better. It's absolutely free and it, it is fantastic. It's called the Keywords Everywhere Browser Extension. I'll put this link in the resources section of this video. You can just install it. And it's a browser extension. So if you've got Chrome or, or Firefox, you can just install that. If you don't have Chrome, you can just install that. So you can use either of these tools. And there are other tools out there as well, which you can feel free to use as well. Now the benefit of this keyword everywhere tool is I'm going to enable it here on my browser. To set it up you can just go ahead and follow the instructions from that website. But the cool thing is that it'll show you the number of searches per month that a term gets right here underneath the search bar. And I find this particularly helpful because I don't have to go into a tool uh, that you know and not see it and it's kind of a disjointed experience. Here I can see it right away. So what I can do, 
is go back, let's have a look at some of these terms, 590 a month. Okay, paste that in. Let's go back to some of my other terms. Let's paste these in. We want to get the search volume for these now. Okay, so this looks good. 100, 1,900 searches a month. And as we saw, very little competition for this. That could be a great video to make. Beard oil for short beard. 170 per month. Okay, so not so big. Still an interesting one though. Beard oil growth. Now here we go, we've hit the jackpot. It's four, 40,000 searches a month. Really not that much competition. Okay, so beer co comb shaper. Let's have a look at this. 13,000 or 1,300 per month. Okay. So in terms of search volume, if I was an e-commerce store, this is the first one I would make straight away. And really categorize it this way. And there we go. So what I've got now is one, two, three, four, five, five videos that I could make that I think I could rank even without an audience right at the top of the search results for that. I could pick up quite a lot of searches per month if I appear at number one. And that is really going to help me attract those potential customers to my channel. If they subscribe or I redirect them to my website, then that is how I can get that website traffic and generate those sales. So that is the process. Really come into YouTube, use this auto suggest feature to find those highly searched terms. Have a look at the titles of the videos to see how specifically those videos address that exact search term. And then you can use a tool like the Google Keyword Planner tool, or probably better, this Keywords Everywhere tool, to really get that search volume to prioritize those videos. So now it's your turn. Come into YouTube, start to do your keyword research, and build up that list of video ideas that's going to get you to the top of the search results.